Hello everybody. In this video I am performing a ODC chloral hydrate synthesis. For this I weighed out 317 grams of trichloroisocyanuric acid. Short TCCA. As my source for the chlorine gas. After this I measured 400 milliliters of a 30 to 33 percent hydrochloric acid solution out. The TCCA is then transferred into a gas generator setup. This step has to be done in a fume hood or with a gas mask equipped because the TCCA dust can damage your lungs. Now 46.07 grams pre-dried ethanol is added into the reaction flask. This amount of ethanol corresponds to exactly one mole. To start the reaction I am slowly adding the hydrochloric acid to the trichloroisocyanuric acid. This generates 3 mole chlorine gas out of 1 mole TCCA and 3 mole hydrochloric acid. And in this case 4 mole chlorine gas for our reaction. The start of the reaction is performed in an ice bath which temperature should be raised over time until boiling occurs. For my attempt I just used the ice bath without raising the temperature which gave me a horrible yield as a reward. So now after you saw the initial coloring slash absorption of the chlorine in our ethanol I am going to talk a little bit about what is happening in the reaction flask. But a warning the overall reaction is not that well known. But anyway. So as we drop the HCl to the TCCA we are generating molecular chlorine Cl2 gas. This then runs through the tube into the ethanol where it attacks the methyl group's hydrogens and replaces them one by one with a chlorine atom. Yielding at first the mono then the D and then the trichlorinated ethanol. And with each chlorination a molecule of hydrogen chloride. So now the problem is that the secondary step where the trichlorinated aldehyde is formed is not explained anywhere. Or at least I did not find it. Then shame on me. So I can just assume that it may be some kind of intramolecular rearrangement. Here you can see the formed hydrogen chloride fuming in the humid air of my lab. I hope this shot underlines how important it is that you work in a fume hood because of the toxicity of the HCl fumes. After the chlorination has finished I simply reduced the volume by vacuum distillation to get rid of excess water and ethanol. As seen here with the small crystals the chloral hydrate has already formed due to the presence of water in the reagents so you do not need to add any H2O. Because some of you requested that I let the lab audio in the video I did it this time. But you can clearly hear the problem. I am always listening to music. But for the future I will try to get some music free shots with lab audio.
When the boiling pretty much died down I put the concentrated reaction mixture in an exicator to crystallize my product out. In the end I got 2.8 grams product of unknown quality. Which is just horrible. But the melting point was only 0.2 degrees of and the smell did fit that of chloral hydrate. So with some improvements like acidifying the reaction mixture and doing part of the chlorination in a boiling water bath the yield should be much better. So have fun and do not kill yourself.